this is me uh, your friend data saver here again so in this video uh, what I'm going to teach you is how we can uh, make a pie chart using different dimensions of the table so uh, let's start with the main tableau so I have an excel sheet here uh, so as you can see that the data is uh, in simple format so it is on row by row which means that you can see this apple and its consumption percent is in the same row right so uh, the, normally the datas are kept in this way in excel sheet so um, and it is very easy to make pie chart using this data so let me show you this one real quick so i'm opening here excel so this is my excel sheet <coughs> and if i drag the fruits here so as you can see that uh, making the pie chart using this so i put the fruit there and the consumption percent and you can see that pie chart is open here and if i do the entire view i put the fruits on level so yeah it's done right so it's very easy to make this pie chart level when the data are organized in this way so what about but what about the the data in the big database right so the data in the big database are not uh, you normally not uh, kept like this right so uh, there is a con uh, concept of dimensions and dimensional and fact tables so uh, when joining the fact table with dimension table the data are not kept in row by row but using the column value right so what i'm trying to say is uh, it's normally kept using this column to column name right so here it is the title is apple and uh, its percentage is here so uh, in this case we are just using fruit but this might be related to city or related to different country so data keeping the data in row by row format will be very hard so if you want to can see the uh, apple use uh, consumption in usa or uh, any other european country then we can't keep uh, them in the same row so uh, as an alternative uh, in the demand we create a fact table and join it with the uh, uh, we create a dimension table and join it with the fact table so uh, in the uh, so this concept will be similar to the this one right so we can uh, have a, a column about uh, a country a column about uh, fruits and a single uh, column or row about the consumption percent so in this way uh, the different tables um, can be made sometimes in the, so the data might come in this format as well so what to do and how to create a, a pie chart when the data comes in this format so I'm going to show you I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it uh, over here Oh, sorry so I'll just delete it I'll just paste it here okay I need to copy it again and now I'm pasting it here so so I have made this change now I'll just save it okay so now I have saved this uh, so now what I'll do is I'll go to tableau and I'll just refresh this so as you can see that it's already showing some errors here right so let's go to the sheet and see what's happening so now the data has changed this so it's showing error so I'll just remove this all and I'll delete it uh, this is shown because uh, Tableau creates an image every time a data is loaded and uh, that image was still there uh, when I refreshed it so it was showing the error because it's not here so uh, now what I'm what I'm just trying to show you is well now we have to make the spy chart using the same values right but as you can see that everything uh, every row is in different uh, every column has come differently so and there is no values that represents the consumption percent right so if you check uh, 
here you can see that there are counts and there are three different columns but uh, no values is shown there so what we have to do now is we have to use a different way to get the pie chart here so let's let's get started so what i'm what i'll do is first i'll take the measure name and put it into filters so i'll remove this count of root because we don't need that tablet is just creating it uh, as it understands the data and so now what i'll do is i'll all the numeric uh, values uh, in tableaus are saved in major values uh, this is for all the cases uh, if we checked or uh, looked at the data we are using previously the, uh, in that case also it's the same case so the numeric value is saved in measures value and the uh, text value is uh, saved in the measures name in tableau so uh, so let's get moving so what i'll do is now i'll put the measures value here and as you can see that we are seeing that uh, there are apple banana and pineapple shown right so and always remember that uh, you have to use the pie chart here normally when the data uh, in this sheet uh, the pie chart uh, was already uh, selected so it's there by default but in other pages uh, you won't uh, have the same situation so it's automatic text in this right so i'm going to make changes here again so as you can see that i'll just remove it like before and then i'll put the measures value in the sizes and you can see that it's automatic text so what you have to do is you have to change it to pie chart so now you have a pie chart of the uh, whole value here there are values here already shown if you can hover it so i'll just put the color on the measure name and then i'll put the measure name on the labels and as you can see that the pie chart is shown so uh, this is another way to do it and you can still see that there is the, we can't select the pie chart here so <clears throat> this is a different technique you can use to get the pie chart value uh, uh, I think it's a simpler technique most of you know that but uh, for me personally it took uh, more than two three hours of my time just to uh, learn this stuff so uh, I created a video which will be easy for all of us so yeah that's it for today uh, so this is how you can uh, create a pie chart or any other chart using uh, the major name and the value major value concept in Tableau uh, I hope uh, you learn something new from today uh, today's video so that's it for today and uh, i will try to make new video uh, again uh, in some time so that's all uh, thank you everyone happy learning